Hello, I'm Donovan McIntosh, and I'm the recruiter for the North Las Vegas Police Department. Today, we're going to talk about how to properly perform our entry-level physical fitness test. The physical fitness test consists of the following. The vertical jump, the Illinois agility run, push-ups, sit-ups, 300 meter sprint, and the mile and a half run. The vertical jump test measures the dynamic strength and muscle power in the legs. Stand under the test apparatus and reach up as high as you can with one arm while placing your bicep next to your ear. The apparatus will be lowered to your fingertips. Take one step back with either foot, then step forward and jump, reaching as high as possible and hit the tabs, or you may jump from both feet without taking a step. Your score is the highest tab you can reach and will be recorded to the half inch. You will have three attempts for this event. The second event is the Illinois Agility Run, a measure of coordinated movement and speed. It is important for performing tasks requiring quick movements around obstacles. Start in a prone position to the left of the first cone with the tips of your fingers behind the starting line. When the instructor says go, stand up and sprint to the forward line. Place one foot over the line and sprint back to the starting line. Make a left turn around the first cone, then zigzag in a figure eight fashion around the four cones and zigzag back to the starting line. Turn left around the first cone and sprint to the forward line and back one more time. The clock stops when any part of your body crosses the finish line. If you knock over a cone, miss a turn, or fail to touch the line when turning, the instructor will stop you and return you to the end of the line for a restart. You will have two trials for this event. The next event is the push-up, a measure of the muscular endurance of the upper body. This is important for tasks such as use of force, lifting, carrying, and pushing. Assume the front leaning rest position by placing your hands on the surface just outside a straight line down from the shoulders. The back, buttocks, and legs must be in a generally straight line from the head to the heels. The feet may be together or up to 12 inches apart. When the instructor says go, lower your body by bending the elbows until the top of the upper arms, shoulders, and upper back are aligned and parallel to the ground. Return to the starting position by soft blocking your elbows. This constitutes one repetition. You may rest in the up position. If you arch your back, fail to keep your body relatively straight or soft lock your elbows, you will receive a warning. The third event is the sit-up, a measure of the muscular endurance of the abdominal muscles, important for many physical tasks and injury prevention. Lie on your back with your knees bent at approximately a 90 degree angle and your heels on the ground. Your feet may be together or apart, but the heels must stay in contact with the ground. Your partner will hold your ankles. The tips of your fingertips must stay behind the back of your ears throughout the event. When the instructor says go, lift your upper body by bending at the waist and touching your elbows to the kneecaps. Return to the starting position with your shoulder blades touching the surface. That will constitute one repetition. If you arch your back, lift your buttocks from the mat, move your fingertips forward from the back of your ears, fail to break the vertical plane and touch the knees, stop to rest in the down position, or fail to touch your shoulders to the mat, you will receive a one. For any subsequent violation, the repetition will not count. You will have one minute to do as many sit-ups as possible. The instructor will announce 45, 30, 15, and count out the last 10 seconds. Your score is the number of correct sit-ups. The next two tests are the 300 meter sprint and the mile and a half run. Both tests will measure your anaerobic power. You must complete both tests without any help. At the start, all participants will line up behind the starting line. On the command of go, the clock will start and you will begin running at your own pace. Your goal is to complete both courses as quickly as possible. So, now that you've been given instructions on how to successfully complete the physical fitness test, remember, bring plenty of water, and dress accordingly as most of our tests are administered outside. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My number is 
702-633-2255 or 702-633-1755. And remember, you are the future of the North Las Vegas Police Department. Thank you.